This is the TV news for Thursday, January 20th. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with Here's Piers. That's our continuing look at how CNN's critical new 9 p.m. entry is doing. Night two, the guest was a pugnacious Howard Stern, and Piers suffered a 40% drop off in total audience from his premiere with Oprah. Certainly not what was hoped for, but we'll keep an eye on Piers to see if this show's got legs or not. And now, we get a visit from PR media doctor Arthur Sando and his PR scription. Now, as you know, Arthur has been tracking the PR effort for CNN's Piers Morgan tonight. Now, with a couple of days of ratings data under your belt, Arthur, well, what do you think? Well, when all said and done, I think the uh, CNN PR department did a very creditable job. Clearly, their strategy was to wait until after the holidays and after the start of the Oprah Winfrey Network on New Year's Day. Uh, but they uh, packed a lot of punch into the 10 days before the launch of Piers Morgan tonight, starting with his appearance at the TV Critics Association tour, uh, announcing the first week of guests, and that got a lot of uh, coverage in print and online. Um, during the weekend just prior to launch, uh, there were... Uh, Q&As in Time Magazine and Parade Magazine, which is in a lot of Sunday newspapers. And on the day of launch itself, there were big stories in major newspapers like the New York Times, the LA Times, and USA Today. Piers was a guest on Good Morning America. And there were a lot of tune-in ads that ran that day. And altogether, it seemed to work. Uh, as you know, CNN had triple its normal numbers. Over 2.1 million viewers tuned in for that first show. So that was successful. But as you know, Jeff, uh, public relations and promotion can uh, only set the table. Uh, they can only get viewers in front of the tube. The show itself has to keep viewers there. And reaction in the first couple of days from social media was quite positive. TV critics, on the other hand, were mixed. Uh, Piers was criticized for fawning over his guests. And there were a lot of complaints that he was too anxious. He cut his guests off in mid-sentence, making him look like he was more interested in asking his next question than listening to the answer uh, to the previous question that the guest was giving. Uh, so going forward, I think the job of PR is going to have to be to gauge criticism, both good and bad, digest it, analyze it, and then make recommendations to the producers of the show and to peers uh, to make things better. Uh, either the show is going to have to live up to its message of being edgy and dangerous, or the message is going to have to be massaged to uh, more accurately reflect a different reality. Uh, in either case, PR is going to have to keep its ear to the ground, uh, monitor social media very carefully, uh, accentuate the positive as much as possible, and at the same time provide information to the show itself peers and his producers to help making uh, more improvements as time goes on. Arthur, it sounds like a plan and a good plan. We thank you, Arthur, and we will see you next week. You know what? Let's deliver some great ratings news, and it has to do with BET's resurrected, successful sitcom, The Game. This football folly was orphaned by the CW and then adopted by BET. BET's premiere of a pair of new episodes of The Game shattered all ratings record for a sitcom on cable TV. Wait, did you hear that? Not on BET, but was the highest rated sitcom in the entire history of cable TV. Congratulations to everyone at BET. Hey, in honor of Hallmark Channel announcing what will be the 17th, count them, 17th cake show on cable TV, we've prepared a standalone special, Tons O Cake Shows. And that looks at all of the ingredients for such a gross over-deployment in cake and cake-related programming. Plus, our resident programming Zarina, Susan Hibben, she bakes a cake, and you get a great new cake recipe. To access tons of cake, just click on our archives here at the tvnews.tv.
Future Events and Opportunities. Brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. Now is the time to become a sponsor of the TV news and take advantage of our now well over 260,000 views and our exceptionally high clout scores which measure our influence with the industry via social media. To get started, email us at advertise at the TV news TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV news. We will be back tomorrow with a completely fresh edition plus Eric Mackerlin will be in with the Sports TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.